What if we use a free cam mod to look at the worst deaths in GTA history from angles we were never meant to see? Well in today's video we break the boundaries of the GTA games and finally explore these scenes in brutal detail. Number 1 Michael's Death In this mission Michael meets Franklin in the desert. Choosing ending B commences this mission and has Franklin call Michael to talk somewhere quiet. Michael begins by reflecting how good their partnership has been. Things are going great with his family and his dream job. However, things take a turn when Michael quickly realises that Franklin is there to actually kill him. Now, this one is really interesting because it actually turns out that Michael was supposed to die in a completely different way in this mission and we have footage to prove it. Franklin chases Michael throughout the power plant until Michael eventually climbs to the top of this chimney. That's where the two have a fight and Franklin manages to push Michael over the edge. We're able to actually see what happens during this scene. But did you know that Michael was actually originally supposed to die by helicopter blades and the remains of the helicopter that was supposed to kill him can be found in the actual scene. Number two is Trevor's death. In this mission similar to Michael's, Trevor meets Franklin in a quiet place, where he assumes the meeting is all about taking out Michael and disagrees with the idea. However, when he realises that Franklin is actually there to kill him instead, we then have to chase Trevor for several minutes until eventually leading us back round in a loop back to the oil field where this all began. Franklin manages to ring Michael where it turns out he is nearly there at the location, which is when the next part of the cutscene occurs. That's where Michael comes in and crashes into Trevor's vehicle, sending him spinning out of control into a giant puddle of fuel. And that's where we then set fire to Trevor and watch him burn alive. Fuck! I thought I was with one Judas! I'm surrounded by them! You fake motherfuckers! Using the free cam mod here, this is absolutely horrifying as we're able to watch Trevor on fire in slow motion. And not only that, but also some of these close up shots I managed to get where you can see the fire engulfing his full face is pretty horrifying to be honest. We're also able to get this really cool shot of the explosion of the fuel trailer as well in slow motion and that's where it actually is revealed that a piece of debris lands on top of Trevor's body which makes it even worse. Usually at this point in the cutscene you're only watching Franklin and Michael now as they conclude what's just happened but obviously Trevor's body continues to burn throughout these moments as well. We move on quickly now to GTA San Andreas for a brief moment and this happens during the mission reuniting the families where Sweet declares that a few of the family gangs are going to be meeting at the motel in Los Santos. That's when a police raid occurs and you have to go in to save Sweet. It's only until you get out of the hotel where you get picked up by Big Smoke and Ryder and you're given an AK-47 to shoot at the police officers that are chasing your vehicle. And that is one of the craziest missions in San Andreas where loads of police officers are now trying to jump onto your vehicle and attack you on the car hood. However, at some point the AK-47 jams and well, the next thing that happens is the car drives through helicopter blades with a police officer on the hood of the vehicle. Bad. The case jammed. Fuck it, I'm going through. CJ, we got the ghetto bird up here. This is LSBD. Do not. Hey, what the fuck? Too low. You'll kill us all. Back up, smoke back up. Hell no, I'm going through. Oh man, we gonna die. Oh shit. Slow down, smoke. Slow down. Oh shit, the brakes is out. So while that cop was on the hood of the vehicle, they decided to drive directly into the helicopter blades, resulting in this officer being cut to absolute pieces. And using a free cam modification here, as you can see, we're able to see how this exactly was done. And it appears that the police officer is despawned and then some ambient objects are spawned in like body parts such as arms, legs and a head. And we can actually see these here in this camera mod right here. 
One of the most graphic deaths coming up now, and this is Johnny, the protagonist of GTA 4 The Lost and Damned. Because that's when Johnny comes along and is angry at Trevor because Trevor has been sleeping with his ex-girlfriend. Of course, he's very upset about this and confronts Trevor, which is something you never want to do, let alone want to do on a day where Trevor is found out that he's been betrayed by one of his best friends. <laughs> Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking to you, huh? Fuck! Johnny! Huh? Next time, don't get in my fucking face! I just saw a fucking ghost and I gotta hear your crap! Get up! Get up! Wait! <laughs> Who the fuck are you speaking to? Who? Who? I'm talking. This is super brutal, especially when we use the free cam to zoom in on his face, which is something we couldn't do obviously during the cutscene. It turns out that Trevor stomped on Johnny's head so hard that a piece of his brain matter actually still is on his boot later on in that mission. Hey cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry, what was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy! We move on now to Agent Sanchez, one of the antagonists from GTA 5. And in this mission, we play as Michael and we have to meet up with some of the agents at the Quartz Center in Los Santos. Michael initially thinks this meeting is just to discuss some of the events that have happened in the storyline however things quickly take a turn for the worst as it appears that this isn't quite as it seems that's when of course this meeting doesn't go to plan as usual and a police fbi raid occurs it's then revealed that agent sanchez is actually a double crossing agent and the team of police that are there are with him various other agencies arrive including merriweather and that's when this crazy standoff scene happens put your gun down Seeing this really famous death from this angle is kind of interesting because you can see where the player model or the NPC model changes from the variant without the headshot wound to the one with the headshot wound. And now we can actually zoom in on his face, it's kind of funny, it's also fairly disturbing. Next up we actually have a rare look of the death of Jay Norris. Now we all know what happened to Jay Norris in GTA 5. During a press conference, Jay Norris answers this phone and has his head blown off. Hold on a second, I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Get security! No, 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 no. But actually turns out with mods, we can actually spawn in this Jay Norris player model right here, and we can actually see the model where his face has been blown off, which is pretty graphic and interesting because it looks like what happens is as Jay answers the phone and the explosion goes off, Rockstar quickly changed the model of the pedestrian or the NPC to this model of him and it happens so quickly that you're not even able to notice it in the cutscene. Let's talk about Molly Schultz from Grand Theft Auto 5. After arriving at Solomon's office, Michael is surprised to find Devin Weston and his assistant Molly Schultz there. Devin explains how he plans to pull the plug on the first movie that Michael has made to receive a massive insurance payout. And that's when Molly takes hold of this film reel that belongs to Michael and Solomon Richards and decides to take it to the airport onto a private plane. Michael is absolutely furious about this and decides to chase Molly all the way to the airport, which is where after a chase scene happens, she ends up crashing her vehicle and running away on foot out of pure fear. However, after she takes away on foot through the aircraft hangar, that's when one of the most gruesome horrifying scenes in GTA 5 happens. Molly is sucked into the plane engine 
and torn to shreds. It's pretty cool that we're able to actually see this angle where her whole body disappears into the turbine and how Rockstar actually managed to develop this mission. After this, we can see various body parts and remains laying on the floor underneath the plane. 